Here are the top five reasons why you should be studying robotics, computer vision or machine learning today. The number one reason and probably the best reason why you should be studying these is because you're genuinely interested in learning these fields. You have a genuine curiosity to learn to build intelligent systems and you want to explore more. Maybe you took up a project in your university or you went through a tutorial related to computer vision or machine learning and you got more excited about the field and you have a genuine desire to want to build more projects, learn more of these concepts and actually create something interesting for yourself. Really, if you have just this reason, you probably don't need more reasons to pursue a field. Genuine interest in a particular field goes a long way. The second reason why you should be pursuing robotics is because it's multidisciplinary. Robotics is a field at the intersection of mechanical engineering, computer science, electronics, and has a variety of different subdomains. You need to know a little bit of control systems. You need to know some kinematics and dynamics. You need to know the vision systems. You need to know a little bit about sensors. You need to know a little bit about a lot of different things. And that would ensure that you're always learning something new. One of the reasons why people, one of the reasons why people switch careers is because they don't see themselves growing enough or they don't see themselves learning new skills or new technologies. One of the advantages of learning robotics is that you'd always be learning something new. Of course, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, you do have to define a particular subdomain or niche in robotics so as to be employable in the job market. But, but at the same time, you would always be involved with other divisions you'd always be involved with other departments. Robotics as a field is very interdisciplinary. Another reason why you should be pursuing robotics is because it offers you the chance to be creative. Engineering is an analytical field, but the early stages of conception of a product require you to be creative in coming up with ingenious solutions to a problem. Most engineers enjoy the phase of creative conceptualization of a product more than the analytical work. A mechanical engineer, for instance, would be involved in creative conceptualization of new solutions to a particular problem. And once a particular concept has been chosen upon based upon the concept metrics, then the design parameters are fixed. And after that, you're involved in more systematic processes like structural analysis or fluid dynamics or approaches for failure prevention and things like that. So a design process transitions from being highly creative in the initial phases to more analytical in the last phases of the product development. The same is true for robotics products. However, since robotics is very multidisciplinary, you would probably have more opportunity to engage in creative exchanges with members of different divisions and the fact that robotics as a field is still emerging, you would probably be involved in novel problems that require creative thinking. So if you're someone who enjoys that, you would get plenty of those opportunities as a robotics engineer. Likewise, is true for artificial intelligence. Particularly, a lot of startups are trying to incorporate a lot of artificial intelligence research to solve novel problems. And this is where a certain level of creativity is desired in addition to analytical skills. So if you identify, so if you identify that you enjoy a good mix of analytical work and creative thinking, then robotics, machine learning or computer vision would be good fields for you. Another reason and that is connected to reason number one is that you find the research and the ongoing projects and in fact, also the applications of robotics, computer vision and machine learning, very exciting. If you follow YouTube channels, like for instance, two minute papers, you are probably excited about the recent breakthroughs in artificial intelligence, or you're probably fascinated by the new advancements in autonomous driving or humanoid robotics or natural language processing. This in my view is also genuine interest in this field and will go a long way as you would be learning more about these subfields out of pure curiosity. Of course, you can't purely rely on curiosity to build a career. You have to have a systematic approach. You have to select a subdomain or niche in robotics or artificial intelligence to build a career path. But being interested in these fields 
and having a willingness to start learning these fields is a very good reason. Last but not the least, you genuinely believe that robotics and artificial intelligence would have an impact and a positive impact on the economy and on the lives of the people. You genuinely believe that contributing to these fields will make the lives of people better. The reasons I mentioned before are probably very common and they do make sense. But nobody talks about the last reason of actually thinking about the impact that your work would be having before choosing a domain you want to work in. If you choose a career that is based upon your interests, your strengths and the fields that you enjoy learning and working in and then actually link it to the impact that you believe that field would have, to the impact that you believe your work would have, then this combination becomes really powerful. And if you think about these things before you start pursuing any of these fields, you're making sure that you would have a very meaningful career in robotics or artificial intelligence. So make sure that you study these fields for the right reasons. In addition to this video, I urge you to watch the video on the top worst reasons or the wrong reasons to pursue these fields. There's also an activity video where I ask you to actually sit down and evaluate for yourselves what your core reasons for pursuing these fields are. And this is very important because this sets the foundation for your learning journey. So make sure that you take this activity seriously. Lastly, check out learnroboticsandai.com where I'm creating a framework where you can start learning these fields in a sequential manner.